Now, your task is to explain in 140 characters or less what a tweet is to someone who knows nothing about Twitter. All right, so, so far we've got 140 characters utterance on a public forum where people can follow your musings. The sound a bird makes, interesting. <laughs> how celebrities tell us how awful are their lives. Remembering, your audience is someone who doesn't know what Twitter is. Sending a public message via Twitter. What's Twitter? I don't know what Twitter is. Have another go. 140 characters or less. People sharing any thoughts or information on a well-based public forum. A web-based, sorry, web-based public forum. Posting, posting a comment or statement on a social media network called Twitter. Connecting people with too much time who like to ramble to strangers about random stuff. Okay, I think we've got enough to work with there to make some valid points. What is something that I did in setting up this activity? Did I make an assumption about you? That we know what Twitter was. That's right. So when I asked who knows about Twitter and only a couple of you put up their hand, that was actually an incorrect assumption I had made because I sort of went, oh, uni students, they'll know about Twitter, digital natives, all of that. Okay? So be very careful about your audience in terms of what you assume they know is very, very important. I've made that fundamental mistake today. However, you seem to have managed to come up with some interesting things here. This one here is, is interesting. The, the one about Tweet is a singer born 1972. Is that an appropriate response really for the task that was given? I'm not being, not being horrible here. I don't want to reprimand anybody. But is that an appropriate response for the task that was given? No, but it was funny. Okay, fair enough. It wasn't appropriate, and I'm only saying that because the purpose was to explain a tweet to someone that doesn't know what Twitter is. Okay, so the purpose there was very clear to you. The idea wasn't to go and find anything called a tweet and explain it. It was clearly connected to the idea of Twitter. Okay, so be very careful. You will have a purpose when you are communicating to various audiences. Make sure you stay focused on that purpose. Yeah, it's funny and it's okay today, not a problem at all, but it actually is a good, uh, a good point to make. How easy was this task for you? Had the internet, that was okay, so you're able to find out what a tweet is and sort of reword it. Explaining it in 140 characters or less, was that okay? Yeah? Let's have a look at some others and see how, how well they stand alone in terms of how well they explain things. So we've got the sound a bird makes, that's another interesting one. How celebrities tell us how awful their lives are. Okay, does that explain to someone who doesn't know what Twitter is, what a tweet is? Yeah, maybe. Gives them an idea of the sorts of things that might occur in tweets. Sending a public message via Twitter. Is that one gonna be okay for our audience that doesn't know anything about Twitter? Hmm, perhaps not, because they've talked about Twitter, but there's no idea about what Twitter itself is. So this perhaps wouldn't help me if I had nothing, if I had no knowledge about Twitter itself. Twitty, tweeting is posting a comment or statement on a social media network called Twitter. How's that? Yeah? Okay. Pretty clear, pretty simple. Hasn't used anything sort of convoluted or um, hasn't used words that we don't know anything about. People sharing thoughts or information on a web-based public forum. How's that one? Yeah? It's not too bad. You're doing a pretty good job here. Connecting people with too much time who like to ramble to strangers about random stuff. I wholeheartedly agree. Okay? It's got a bit of an opinion about that one though, hasn't it? Okay? So it's not, a, it's not an objective description of what a tweet is. It does have an opinion sort of coming through. Gives you an idea of, again though, the sorts of things that are happening in the world of tweeting. You can tweet or give a message through this site. Even you can share your thoughts and current status. Okay, a bit more of an insight there. A post made on social media site Twitter describing a person's feelings or activities. How's that one? Yeah, cool. I won't go through all of them. Okay, we can see them all there and you're welcome to go back and look at this uh, same site at any other stage. This simply was a quick activity to teach you some other lessons if you like. 
we need to think about being clear and concise when we are communicating, particularly when we're communicating to our audience who may not know anything about the topic that we're communicating. So th things like using simple and clear language. In this case, we had to think about using a very short amount of space in which to tell our message. So brevity was important, brief and concise. Again, we needed to avoid jargon. So that word Twitter is a name of a website and only people who are familiar with social networking will understand what it means. So you could argue that tweeting, for instance, is a, a jargon word, a slang word, a, a, a piece of vocabulary associated with social networking. In the same way that no doubt there is a whole lot of vocabulary related to remote sensing that someone like myself is not going to understand. So we have to be very careful about using that jargon. <coughs> Some things that were given to you though. The audience was very clearly defined for you. I said people who know nothing about Twitter is your audience. So that's an important thing for you to have known before you started your communication exercise. The other thing that was clearly identified for you was the purpose. Explain what a tweet is. Now if you didn't have those two clear boundaries, you may well have come up with something like the sound that a bird makes or that singer that died in whatever year it was. Okay? But because we knew what our purpose was and because we knew what our, who our audience was, we were able to tailor our responses in such a way that our communications were really nice and clear. So one of the things that you're going to need to do today is think about who is your audience and really clearly define that for yourselves and also very clearly think about what is your purpose in communicating to them. And if you can't define those things up front, your communication to those people is going to be sort of a bit all over the place. So when, we, when you get to that today, make sure you think about this little activity and clearly defining those things.